Every January, the music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart echoes throughout Salzburg, Austria, when the city where Mozart was born celebrates his birthday. The streets Mozart traveled and the places he knew so well seem hardly to have changed since his birth 232 years ago. This year, Sir Neville Mariner and the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields led the festivities. has its own birthday to celebrate. It was 30 years ago that 13 musicians gave a concert in this church, St. Martin in the Fields, in the heart of London. Um, there used to be, in the 17th and 18th century, lots of academies, Academy of Literature, Academy of Music, Academy of Medicine. So we stole that collective noun and used it for, uh, for our, our orchestra then. And because we were playing our first concert here, it became the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. More people from abroad come here to this church and say, where's the concert, uh, than any concert hall in, in England. Um, it is really quite embarrassing for them sometimes that, uh, that there's nothing going on here, of course, because although we are the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, we're always somewhere else. Today, the Academy is one of England's main exports, giving concerts all over the world. When the group was first formed, the members spent most of their time in the Mariner's apartment. Yeah, well, this is a very beautiful room. Well, exquisite. once it's empty of musicians, it looks better. <laughs> well, it was once full of musicians. So. Oh, absolutely. We had to push the furniture out into the hall. And you brought in all the stands and chairs and all of the... Everybody is doing it yourself, you know. Was, uh... did, you, did your neighbours hear you? I don't know if they heard us. They didn't complain. They were very long-suffering, I think. Uh, of course, we rehearse during the daytime and it doesn't seem to worry people. Did you like it, Molly? Was it fun? Yes. It was lovely. It was Molly Mariner helped organize the orchestra in the beginning. Home. And it was so quiet and small. I mean, nobody thought it was ever going to become serious. That's it. The Academy is one of the world's leading chamber orchestras. From the 13 players that violinist Neville Mariner led, the group has grown to about 60 musicians. Good. And it is one of the most recorded in the world, with more than 400 records to its credit. What does the music of Mozart bring to you? I often thought about this, that if there was just one composer that you had to choose, he would be the most fulfilling, I mean, purely from the repertoire to begin with, that you have the operas, you have the symphonies, you have the concertos, you have the chamber music. There's a vitality and an urgency about that music as well as a, a sublimity about some of the, uh, the music that he writes.
Mozart was an immensely professional person. He was rather like you and I. He knew the profession inside out. He, he was by no means as stuffy uh, as he's been portrayed for years and years. Audiences in Salzburg are familiar with Mozart's music. The Academy brought his music to millions of others with the film Amadeus, for which Mariner was the music director. We were, came in for quite a lot of punishment at the beginning because they said, How can someone? Uh, as respectable as the Academy, um, become associated with a film that makes Mozart into a buffoon. We could play the music exactly as Mozart wrote it, with no cuts, no slashes, no desperate sort of uh, Hollywoodization of the uh, of the score. I, th I would say that um, we have had more reaction from uh, both the movie and the record of the movie uh, than from any other music we've ever been involved in. And if there is any justification for uh, being part of such a patently commercial enterprise, it is that um, millions more people have heard bits of Mozart than might have heard it if, if we hadn't involved ourselves. It's a thrill to enter the real world of Mozart. It's very touching to go into Mozart's apartments, I think, and see how tiny they were to begin with. It, you do get a, a, a sense of history there, I think. These manuscripts in Mozart's own handwriting still survive. And the instruments that he played on and composed on still survive. But most of all, feeling nostalgic for these early days that were in ah, this room? Yes. I, I, I think, like anybody, it's much more interesting getting there than arriving. Really, the, uh, the excitement of, uh, of the telephone ringing, in fact. In the old days, when the telephone rang, you expected it was going to be a, an engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was much more fun in the early days, I think, when you were just on your way out and then suddenly we're doing it all the time. It is really quite magic, really. <laughs> 